What's going on everybody? Your friend Jamie here from Sharon Sea Travel. Today I am on the Carnival Firenze. That's right, Carnival's newest ship that's sailing in their fleet, Firenze, joins its other two sister ships that came over from Costa Cruise Lines not too long ago. This ship is now sailing out of the west coast, out of uh, the port of Long Beach for Carnival. We just got on the ship the other day for a five-day cruise. Matthew and myself are having a great time, and I thought it was about time for me to get up a little early in the morning and take you guys for a little run around this cruise ship. Now, a couple unique things about this ship. If you've sailed on Carnival before, this ship is built just like a Vista-class ship. It was actually built and came out in late 2019, and the original plan was for this ship to sail in the uh, Chinese market and to kind of deliver an Italian-style cruise to the folks out of China who may not have ever experienced that before. Well, COVID came around, put the kibosh on that, and now, shortly after, Carnival has taken over this cruise ship and she's sailing it on a regular basis. So we're here on deck three in the beautiful atrium here. Let's get started right up front and uh, get this ship tour started. So thanks for joining me. We appreciate it. And by the way, if you enjoy what you see, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends that are planning on traveling out of the West Coast on Carnival. Now let's get this thing started, shall we? Now I mentioned that I'm starting this video right here, deck three at the atrium bar area. The Piazza del Duomo is what it's called here. And uh, it's gonna take me a minute to get used to all these different terms. I'm so used to the Vista class ships and what you call it in the true carnival uh, terminology. But now on this particular ship, it has an Italian feel. They call it carnival sailing Italian style. So it's taken a little bit of getting used to. But right here at a glance, I can see the Medici restaurant. That's who's gonna be your forward restaurant here on deck three they've got this beautiful little lion statue usually on the vista class ships you see kind of a, a, a something that goes all the way to the ceiling with wild colors and vibrant schemes and things like that well this is still beautiful in its own right it looks fantastic here i love the coloring the design the gold the burgundy and uh, the pillars even the trim all the way up you can notice has a great italian feel to it but let's turn around and start this the right way. You know how we'd like to do it? I'm gonna start you guys right here. We're on deck three, forward. Now the two decks below us are just gonna be cabins, including cove balcony cabins. So if you're into those cabins, you can check those out on deck two. But right now we are forward at the elevator bank. You've got three elevator banks on this ship. You're gonna have a forward, a mid, and an aft. All right, so we're up front right here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elevator banks here. And Carnival uses the smart elevators right here. There's even gonna be a display at a couple of elevator banks that'll show you how to use these smart elevators and uh, how to press the buttons, how to get to where you need to be through these smart elevators. Some people say they're not as smart as you'd like them to be, but that's up to you to decide. Of course, you've got stairs going up and down at each elevator bank. And we're gonna walk forward for a minute here on deck three. And something that's really unique, in addition to the cabins that are forward on this ship, you're gonna have Circle C on one side, and you're gonna have Club O2 on the other. For all the teens, all the older kids hanging out, Camp Ocean's not gonna be right here, but that's where the teen clubs are gonna be. Near guest services, you've got a kiosk here for your sailing sign account. If you find long lines of guest services at any time and you just want to put a credit card or a gift card on file, you can go ahead and do that right here and save yourself the trouble. You're going to have your diamond platinum fetch of the fun line over here and your regular guest services line right over there. I mentioned it's pretty early in the morning. No one's here except one fella right back there working on his computer. There's not that much more to show you here forward on deck three. You've got your carnival adventures, the excursion desk right here. I mentioned if you went forward on that side, you'd have the Club O2, Circle C on one side, Club O2 on the other, again, for the teens and the older kids. One more look here at the beautiful atrium. Now let's just take a glance at the Medici restaurant. Now on this particular ship, you can't go all the way through to the aft end of the ship to the other restaurant. So you'll kind of stop right here, but here's the Medici restaurant. A nice view. 
Now it looks like they've got some red tablecloths here. And I can tell by that color scheme, I think they're getting set up for the Seuss breakfast. Ooh, as a matter of fact, they are. Look at this setup, guys. If you're here with the little ones or even the grown-ups, you want to be part of a Dr. Seuss breakfast? How cool is that? Very nice, but a whole different feel, a whole different design for carnival dining rooms here on the ship. Totally different decor, different types of paintings. It's definitely not the old carnival vibe that you're used to. Now you've got your main staircase that goes all the way up to deck five. Here's a little shorty for us. So we're gonna take this to get to deck four. Now I mentioned it's early in the morning. When I say early, it's about 5 a.m. That's when I like to get up and do these ship tours. That's why there's not a lot of folks around. This is where you're gonna have your violinists and any other uh, performers could be here. We'll come back there in a minute. Let me point out right here, the Dream Studios for uh, all your family portraits, your group photos, things like that. Set them up right in there. All right, so now we're on deck four. Same forward elevator bank as before. Remember deck three didn't go all the way through, but deck four is where we're gonna have the lounge, the forward show lounge. Teatro Rosa is what we're looking for right now. I know you're noticing this design, the gold, the burgundy, it's everywhere on the ship. So here we are in the forward theater. Just give you a nice look here. You've got the full bar area, the bar Rosso. Get here early enough, you can park yourself right there and have a great view of the show. And one thing I'm really loving about this theater, unlike the other Carnival of Vista class ships, this one was built with the chairs built in. They're not just chairs lined up next to each other. So it gives you a whole different feel. There's a great view. So you got your first story and your second story right there. Deck three and deck four. Here, you wanna feel like you're performing for everyone? This is what it's like if you're the cruise director announcing the next act. Gorgeous chandeliers up top there. Very nice, very formal, and very Italian. Of course, you've got doors to get in here on either side of the ship, port or starboard. They do have stairs to get up there to deck four. If you want to go up and take a look, I think you know what we're talking about here. So let's get out of here and keep this ship tour going. Now check this out. It says our ship is proudly certified sensory inclusive. Guys, if you're a family, if you're a parent, if you're a loved one, and you've got a child that has a little bit of a special need, make sure that you contact Carnival ahead of time, let them know so they can include your child in any sensory awareness programs. Right here, you got a portside liquor store. You can do that duty-free shopping. And if you're confused about what duty-free is, take a look at the channel. I made a duty-free video not too long ago. That'll explain everything for you. We've got some more Carnival Fun Shops here. The Carnival Swag Store. Now remember, it's early in the morning. I told you, it's just after five, nothing's open. But you get the feel for it. Cherry on top right here. The gumball machine's a little empty though, isn't it? Get your candy fix, your sugar fix right in here, guys. A little more shopping, Carnival Adventure Store, some more Carnival swag. Another look at that ferocious lion. All right, so we're on deck four. Let's go all the way back right now. Because here we can get from forward to aft. All right, so again, we were just forward. We saw the theater. You got the forward elevator bank right there. And now we're gonna go through many people's favorite spots, the Firenze Casino. Let me know in the comments below, are you a gambler? Do you like these big casinos? Because they have a good size one here on the Forenze. Folks are up, they're gambling right now, man. They're rocking it. You've got your slots all over the place, port side and starboard. And if you like the tables, they got that too. Those will open a little bit later on this morning. Two roulette, plenty of uh, blackjack, three card poker. We said they might have a little eye gal poker as well. They got the craps table. So if you like to throw the dice, they're gonna take care of you on that too. 
Now the casino will exit right out to the midship elevator bank right here. And let me show you something cool that I like. If you walk this way, down a hallway, this will take you to the Firenze non-smoking casino. So it's a smaller little spot right here. You don't see this often. I haven't seen it on the Vista class ships, but there's a small little non-smoking casino right here. Some guys working hard early this morning. It's kind of tiny, but they do have roulette. They've got some table games and they've got a handful of slots here. Matthew and I have spent a little more time in that casino this trip because of the non-smoking factor. And here's that elevator bank. We were just over there. And there is a way you can walk this way as well. So let's go out this side. You see, know that way. Let's head to the after the ship. We are 24 7, 365. That's right. That must mean we're here at the Hero Tribute Bar. All right. If you need some big screen sports, if you want to be somewhere where you can meet your brothers, your sisters, folks that served, first responders, they're all recognized right here at the Heroes Bar. And you know they have it on every ship. That's right guys, the Art Gallery. Park West is not gonna let you down. If you wanna splurge for some art, they're gonna have you covered. Here we come to the Limelight Lounge. Looks like they might be set up for a little art show this morning. That's what all these black tripods are. This place will also double as a bar, performance area for uh, comedy and things like that. And it is a late night nightclub. Don't let the look fool you. The other night we were here till about two o'clock. The bar was open and this was the hottest spot on the ship at that time. All right, so that was the Limelight Lounge. Now we're almost getting all the way back here. By the way, I always like to point out the bathrooms. There is a pretty good selection of bathrooms throughout the ship. I know that's a big deal for folks. Now here we are at the top level of the Michelangelo restaurant. Let's see if we can sneak in here. Decks three and four are gonna be the restaurant. You can already tell it's such a different look. The walls built in add a little bit of privacy throughout. Oh, this will give you a great view right here. So there you go, that's deck three. And we're up here on deck four. Beautiful design, restaurant looks great. And of course, here's a popular fella. I believe they call him David. Luckily, he's covered up here. In other places, he might be a little more exposed. But always a fun shot to get pictures taken right here. You can come right up the stairs. You can even sit at the piano and jam a little bit. So, David, good morning. Thanks for hosting us here on the uh, Carnival Forense. We're loving the ship. So there you go, the Michelangelo restaurant. We've been in here a few times. The main dining room has been great. The food has been pretty darn solid. Don't be afraid to check it out. Just to give you some perspective, deck four, we're in the aft part of the ship. Again, deck three below us didn't walk all the way through, so that's why we came up to deck four to show you. Now let's go up to deck five and work our way backwards towards the front. Let's see how smart these elevators are. Uh, deck five, please. Five, four, three. Whoa, that was pretty quick. Of course it is 5.20 in the morning. What's up for everybody? See, it just goes to five. It's not going anywhere else. Let's toss me off. I'm just gonna wait for the next person to hit a button. I guess that's kind of smart, huh? If you've ever been on a Vista Glass ship before, they have an area called the Havana area. It's got a Cuban feel. Well, this ship has the Moda bar and lounge. So let's take a peek right now while we're back here and see what it has to offer. It's a little bit of a private area. What I mean by that is the pool area out back is only for guests staying in the Moda part of the ship until about, I don't know, five, six, seven o'clock, somewhere in there. 
We haven't stayed here, but I think that's pretty accurate. Let me know in the comments if I'm off a little with that time. The bar lounge area is open all the time for anybody. And they're gonna have bands jamming in here. It's kind of a very cool setup. A lot of people like to come back here, hang out. And if you're staying on the ship, wristbands required, see that? I'm not even sure if we can get out this way. Nope, you gotta have a wristband to get out there. Can we get out this way? I don't think so. And you got your stateroom all back here. And you'll have to use your card to open the door to get to your staterooms. I don't know if you can see out there, but there's a nice pool area. Actually, let me correct myself. I don't know if you can see out there, but there's a nice TV area. There's a couple hot tubs back there. Now on the Vista class ships, there's a pool in the Havana area. This area, the Moda area, does not have a pool back there. It just has a couple hot tubs. All right, so again, that's the aft area, deck five, the Moda lounge. Now when you're back here on deck five, there's only one way to go. Fourth side of the ship, there's no, uh, there's no walkway over there. So here we are. On the starboard side, again, the motor bar and lounge is back there. Those are the aft or the rear of the ship elevator banks. Here's a way to get to the Terraza staterooms. I guess the Terraza replaces Havana. And now we come to the Tuscan lounge area. Carnival cruisers might know this as the Ocean Plaza. Very popular spot. You got a nice bar right here. And right here is where you're gonna have, oh, I don't know, you could have performance, bands playing, trivia is going to go on and things like that. This area goes all the way back to the corner, so plenty of seating. And empanadas right here at the Tuscan Lounge. They've got an empanada pie area. Or during the day and in the evening, for a few extra dollars, you can hook up with some tasty empanadas. And they must have just cleaned the floor because they got the fans out drying it up. Now let's take a glance out here. Deck five has got the Lene area going all the way around the ship. So if you're into a little outdoor area, this would be great for you. Ooh, it's a little dark out here, a little bit chilly, and a little breezy this morning. Sorry about the noise, but this Lene will go all the way forward on the ship, on each side of the ship. So if you need a little fresh air, this will do it for you. The port side here, non-smoking but there will be some areas on the other side forward on deck five, which will be available for smokers. So here we are back in the Tuscan lounge. One more look here between midship and aft on deck five. It's just a great place to hang out. And I do like the decor. How cool is this right here? Good morning. I love seeing the friendly crew out here in the morning. It's awesome. Now on the other side, they've got the same style door right here where you can go out. There's a little bar out here, some tables you can sit at. All right, well, on a lot of carnival ships, uh, they have a guy's pig and anchor barbecue uh, outside on the promenade deck five. But here they've got La Strada Grill. All right, you got some sandwiches here, cheesesteak milanese, sounds great, roast pork, and then you got some barbecue to choose from as well. And then they got some salads. That stuff looks kind of good. Okay, maybe the uh, quinoa and chickpeas not up my alley, but hey, other stuff looks pretty tasty and some side dishes. Corn, veggies, baked beans, garlic bread, La Strada Grill. I gotta check that out. All right, so as we go forward on deck five here, we've got the Pixels Gallery. Guys, you know, they take a million pictures of you every time you turn around here on the ship, in the dining room, in the lounges, at the bars, outside of the ship when you get off the port. And this is where you can come and see all those photos. You can get them sent to your phone, you can get digital copies. I'm not even sure if you can still get printed copies. Don't forget if you're Diamond or Platinum, you had to come here to pick up your pin and your BIFP gift. And if you need a little bit of electronics and stuff, they got you covered. Some sound systems, chargers, GoPro accessories, they will hook you up. Now a little more forward. Oh, here's your sunglasses at the Hip Fish shop. $29.99. Those are a steal. And here's kind of a new place on this ship. 
And on other ships, the Vista class, I believe this is gonna be like Red Frog pub environment, but this is called Il, Il let me say it right, Il Viaggio. Il Viaggio. That's gonna be the Italian restaurant here. A new specialty dining option on this particular ship. <laughs> Bombata Milanese, Grigliata Mista di Pesche. I know that's fish, but I butchered saying it. Cannelloni Siciliani di Ricotta, Torta della Nona, Tiramisu, Mile High Gelato Pie. Sounds pretty darn good. Let's take a quick look. So watch out that you don't walk into that thing when you come in here. All right, so a quick look at Il Vaggio. It's a nice little dining area. Looks like an open kitchen design. So you can see what's going on. That's pretty cool, watching the folks work hard. Saw a couple pizza ovens back there. I might have to check this place out with Matthew. So just a small little specialty dining option for people that I've talked to on this cruise who have been here, have been raving about it. So we've got a nice little lounge for sitting right here. And then right here, another very popular new bar, the Frizzante. They've got all the drinks that you want here. They can make some coffee and espresso as well. A few of us were actually here last night, sitting down, having some laughs. It was a great time. So El Vaggio, the new restaurant, Frizzante, the new bar here on the Carnival Forense. And this is just about midship, deck five on the starboard side. Now this is the way you can get to the elevator bank midship. You got a little more shopping right here watches, backpacks, some things like that. Now guys, this might look a little familiar to you if you've been on a few carnival ships. You're tempted to say, hey, look, it's the Alchemy Bar, but it's not the Alchemy Bar, it's the Amari Bar. It's right here on the Firenze, it's called the Amari Bar. But it's got all the same fun. It's got Alchemists here mixing up great drinks and you can order off of the menu or you can have them make a little something special for you. Bonsai Sushi right here. Great reports that they have a fabulous Bonsai Sushi option here. A few extra dollars, pretty reasonable, and you can enjoy a little bit of sushi. There's the goddess of money. I'm not really sure what that's called, but she looks pretty cool. Looking down onto the uh, casino. And as we circle around here, we'll find the Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. Matthew and I ate here last night. It was awesome. The service was solid. The food was great. And let's take a closer look. Okay, here you go. Nice, formal. It's a pretty good size. It's a very large steakhouse. We actually sat right there. It was a great table. And they got the open kitchen there, always cool. Nice formal design, a little bit of an Italian flair. I know you're seeing that throughout the ship. And just to put it in perspective, right there ahead, you see the midship staircase and you see the elevator bank. Four elevators there, the midship the elevator bank. All right, so now we're going from midship to forward. On my left, you've got the bonsai teppanyaki. So you've got the bonsai sushi, or if you want a little cooking at the table, you got the teppanyaki right here. Very cool, a little bigger than I've seen on other ships. Uh, on the Vista class ships, usually it's flipped. The teppanyaki's on the other side of the ship, but here they've got it. Four good sized tables here that'll seat up to eight, make your reservations. A specialty dining option you don't want to miss. Sharon and I have done that in the past, and it was great. And right across the way here, I know, the piano bar. So many of you love it. It's a little smaller. We poked in here the other night. Everyone was having a great time and we came in for a drink because as the bars close, the piano bar and then the limelight lounge bar will be your final two bars. That'll be open. Now we're gonna head forward and we come back to the Shops de la Piazza. 
Oh, well, they got the Effie store. You know they're gonna have that right here. So Effie shopping right there. Jewelry, watches, Gucci time pieces, tag hewer, Citizen, Pandora charms, they've got all that here for you. You're gonna look down at the atrium from up here on the fifth floor. Very nice. Right here's the forward elevator bank. Remember, they've got eight of the smart elevators here. Four on each side. Here's Hip Fish Apparel going right there. Fragrances galore if you need to smell a little better. And they've got the Cloud Nine Beauty Salon right here. So this is where you can get your beautification done. Want to get your hairs done, your nails done, I guess, all that other kind of stuff. They'll do it all right in here. This is where you get into the fitness center. So Cloud9 Spa is basically right here off of the, uh, uh, the forward deck five area. Spa, fitness center, and beauty salon all in one spot. So again, a little look down into the atrium. That's where the violinists will play and other performers can play right there. And you can come out here and see what's going on. You can come out here and see if your friends are hanging at the bar and say, hey, what's up? Save me a seat, I'll be right down. All right, so now we're here, deck five, forward elevator. Four decks above us, all the way up through deck nine are gonna be cabins. And here we are forward, deck five, the Teatro Rosa. All right, you wanna take a quick look? I know you do. All right, that's kind of nice. They've got a lot of seating. I don't know how great the view is going to be. But if you watch some of our older videos, you'll know that some of the best seats in the house are right here up front on deck five. Don't miss out on them. You look right down on everything and you have a fabulous view. So one last look at the Teatro Rosa here all the way forward on the ship. Now I mentioned the Lene. We looked at it all the way to the back. Here's how she looks up front. It's a little breezy, a little overcast, but we've got some chairs out here. Hey, that's where the captain hangs out, way up there. You can walk all the way around the front of the ship. You can sit out here as well. This is a smoking area right out here on the forward part. So you can do cigars out here, you can do cigarettes. So the smokers have not been forgotten here on the carnival. We've got a couple different areas for you. I mentioned all the watches and things like that. Here's another look. Swarovski jewelry. They'll take your money. All right, so. There you go, one last look. We're here at Ford. Elevator bank, we've seen decks three, four, and five. I think it's time to get a little higher. So let's go from here. All right, so here we are on deck 10. Another view of the instruction panel for the uh, smart elevator. So that's kind of cool and kind of helpful. All right, so we are forward deck 10. A quick look here. We're going to find that there are cabins on this deck and the next one up on deck 11 going forward. So we're going to head back towards the Lido area. And this is going to be one of the biggest changes that you're going to see on this ship from what you're used to. Getting out to the Lido area is a whole new thing. All right, if you're familiar with Carnival, usually from here, you're going to start to see all the Lido activity, all the dancing, all the party. No, they've got a big wall here with a map. And we're going to go around. And guys, here is the Lido area. Let's check it out. Totally, totally different vibe than what you might be used to. They've got a large stage right here for performing. They've got the big screen up here, which right now is blank, nothing on it. Usually at least there's something playing. All right, and on the uh, starboard side, you've got Java Blue Cafe. That's right, no Red Frog Rum Bar. And over here, they've got Rococo. No Blue Iguana Cantina Bar. 
the Rococo bar here. It's serving up a little bit of everything. And it's enclosed, it's comfortable. You can come in here and hang out with friends. They're gonna have frozen drinks that are already gonna be pre-mixed up and everything. So again, it's a whole different feeling and a whole different vibe than you've ever seen before. The pool's about the same size, but everything is just so Italian. We've got windows over to the side of the ship that will open up to get some air. And this is kind of neat. If you can look up there, you'll see it later in the tour. They've got a roof. They've got a panel that slides over the area here. So unlike the Vista class ships, and similar to some of the older Carnival ships, this will have a roof that will close. When we first got on the ship, it was closed. Today it's pretty cool, pretty breezy, and it's open. You got your water slides up there, you can see those, but this is it guys, totally different feel. You can enter the pool from here. You can also enter the pool right over there through these little walkways. It's a pretty neat view. Now on this side, the port side of the ship, you've got the Tomodoro Mexican-Italian fusion. All right, they're gonna have what you know here from the Ruana Cantina, you know, breakfast burritos, huevos rancheros in the morning, stuff like that. But then during the day, they're also gonna have uh, some Italian food as well that you can choose from. So they mix it up here. They're combining the Mexican and Italian flair at the Tomodoro. On this side over here, and real quick to my right, you're gonna see the midship elevator bank in there. Now over here, all right, they've got it. They've got Guy's Burger Joint. But look at it, it's a kind of a different feel. It's a different color. It's still Guy, it's still his burgers. But they've got a few different burgers to choose from. They still got the plain Jane and the straight up, but now they have the pepperoni pizza burger, the ringer, that's still a favorite, and Sharon's favorite, she'll be happy to find out, and the super melty mutz. So they've got the burgers you love, a couple new ones as well, and the great fries, the great taste, and the toppings bar. So totally different vibe, totally different feel here in the Lido area. Now, where do you get to the next level? I'm going to take you there in a minute. It's going to blow you away. Let's go back in the marketplace here. Now you're getting into your buffet area. All right, you can tell a totally different vibe, different decor. Looks great. I like it a lot. Get your ice cream right here. Swirls will take care of you. I got some friends and they know who they are who can't go without their ice cream. That's going to be your buffet set up. They're already getting a little bit of the food out and ready for the morning. And the marketplace here on deck 10. We'll go all the way back to the aft pool. Okay, the buffet not quite open. They're just getting a little bit of the continental breakfast stuff out. It's about six in the morning. Something cool here, you've got a beer pouring station and you've got a soda station, although the soda station hasn't been working since we got on the ship. So maybe something new that they're just figuring out. This is the second sailing. They've done a week sailing before us. And now this was originally the inaugural sailing. That got changed up a little bit, but that's what they've got going on. The guys are working hard behind the scenes. Hey guys. And the Continental Breakfast Bar will be open soon too. Now we can cross over. See the same setup here. Well, this soda station seems to be up and running. And Thirsty Frog and Peroni beer available right here. Oh, you know what? I apologize. I was wrong. Sorry, I'm not working. Oh, well, better look next time. Oh boy, we have got some dark clouds coming our way, guys. This might be a little bit of a rough day. We'll see what it turns into. But you know what? We'll make the best of it anyway. All right, now as we come to the aft area, deck 10 here, the Brasilia Sunshine Deck. All right, we've established there's not too much sunshine. That's right. The Pizzeria del Capitano, guys. They're not going to let you down. 
But the pizza is not 24 hours anymore, right? You know that. So the pizzeria itself not quite open yet. They've got the bar back here, the aft pool bar. Pool is closed for the moment. They'll be opening that up later. Two hot tubs, some seating back here. Always a cool place that we like to check out. And here's something kind of neat. They've got some coverage right here to give you a little bit of shade. And you haven't seen that, and I haven't seen that on the other cruise ships that are the Vista class. So that's something new or something old. I don't know. You can say it how you want. Now, right here, they've got the breakfast shack. This is kind of unique. And what I was told by one of the guys is that during the day back here, you can get things that are similar to what you see at Shack's Chicken on the other cruise ships. All right, so that's why it's breakfast shack. All right, um, and then later on in the afternoon, it'll change over to being a seafood shack. The breakfast shack is food that's included, and they'll have breakfast and lunch. And then the seafood shack is gonna be a little bit of an extra charge. So they're gonna have that available for you. So breakfast shack by day, seafood shack by night. So there you go, here's a little look at the aft area, a very cool hangout spot. If you don't wanna be in the chaos, the excitement, all the activity of the uh, main Lido area, come back here and you can chill out and have a great time. All right, now let's go head up to deck 11 here. Now I apologize, I know it's a little windy. Deck 11, you can look down on the aft pool area. And also, this side of deck 11 over here is gonna be a smoking area. Again, Carnival not forgetting any smokers. This will go all the way to the front. So smoking, starboard side of the ship. It's kind of cool, they've got these clamshells out here. Now right here, they got the sports court, right? A little basketball, a little soccer. You might come up here and find the crew working hard, playing games. The kids, the teens, the little ones all come up here and have a good time. Even got some seating areas and benches over there to hang out and watch the kids play. So that's cool. And if you're looking for sunshine, you might have to come out here to find it because there's not a lot of space in that Lido deck. It's really windy out here and I'm starting to get a little drizzle, so I'm gonna make this quick. All right, up top there, you've got deck 12. This will throw you for a loop. There's the smoke sack. There's no carnival funnel here. It's just a big C for carnival. Okay, we got out of that wing a little bit here. Still up here on deck 11. And we're coming back inside to the upper level of the Lido area. And this is pretty cool. I mentioned earlier, we're coming to what they call the pergola bar. Morning. So here we are, one level above the Lido area. And instead of there just being a small little area to walk through with chairs, they've actually got a full bar up here. With seating, you can hang out up here, get a little fresh air when the roof's open. And they do have some more of those little windows that they'll open up on the side to get a little cross breeze if it's a little stuffy. So we've got the pergola bar over there. That'll be on the port side. And then if you come to the starboard side, is the Il Mercado. Meatballs, hot dog sandwiches, a cool little area to get your meatball fix. I mean, it looks like this, but sometimes it looks like this.
If you grown ups that have little ones and you want to keep them busy while you're having a little fun on the ship, right here midship, they're going to have camp ocean. So there you have it. Oh, and you can go up right here to the warehouse arcade and this will take us up to deck 12. So let's take a look at that. And one time real quick, we are at the midship elevators. Right, the upper level of the Lido, right here on deck 11. Right, so let's go up here and see what's going on. Boom, here we are, Warehouse Arcade. Not the biggest, not the smallest I've ever seen, but they do have the uh, air hockey. I don't know, the games look pretty new. They look pretty cool. I'm not sure of the price, but I got a feeling uh, you could spend a fortune. So parents, make sure you put a limit on the kids' sale and sign cards. That's my tip to you. Out here, they got this Ford Square. All right, not all the usual stuff you've seen on the Vista class ships, but here's a better look at the uh, ropes course right here. They do have cornhole, so you can get a couple of cornhole games going. That's always fun. And a very, very miniature, miniature golf. So not a big draw on the sports square. I don't know if they're gonna add anything later. Usually there's some, uh, I don't know, like billiard tables and things like that here. So maybe that's a little bit missing, it's a little bit absent right now, but we'll see what the Frenze has in the future. Again, you got the smokestack that we saw from down below. You got the jogging track here. A lot of people out on the jogging track today. I told you I'd show you where that uh, roof part was. It opened and closes. But it is a little bit windy. All right, so here is the roof. Comes out in sections on the railing right here. It'll close up the Lido deck. You got the waterworks right here, guys. And listen, right up there is gonna be your serenity area. Great spot right here for the kids to play. couple slides you can hit up as well. Another nice view of the ship here. Listen, you know, Matthew and I love these colors. We like the charger blue colors that the Firenze has to offer. You got a single yellow slide here. Up there, you got the two slides. And right here, you got the 21 and over area the serenity area you got the hot tub there overlooking the ocean that's kind of cool right in here and get out of that weather. Ah, deck 15, that's what it was. Deck 15, so let's go back down again to Toledo and see about wrapping this tour up. Well, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the ship tour. I'm back here in the marketplace area because you know what? I'm waiting for that buffet to open because I am starving from walking around this ship all morning with you guys. I think we covered a lot of the ship. I hope you like the style of the ship tour. Just giving you a fresh look early in the morning without a lot of other people in the way. That way we're not bothering them. They're not bothering us. And you can get a really good look at what this cruise ship has to offer. What do you guys think about that Lido area? Is that a little bit cool and different? That whole, you know, Italian vibe going on down there? Let me know in the comments below. Did you see anything in the video that you really want to check out? Are you dying to book the uh, Carnival Firenze or maybe it's sister ship, the Venezia? or a little smaller version of these ships, the Luminosa, all three of them coming over from Costa Cruise Lines in the last couple of years. If you're ready to cruise and you're looking for a great travel agent, make sure you contact Sharon from Sharon Sea Travel. My awesome wife, she'll take great care of you. We appreciate you guys watching the video today. Thanks for joining me and uh, I think I hear that buffet opening up right now, so I gotta go. We'll see you in the next video.